In this video, we solve problem 6.1.9 from Essentials of Statistics 6th edition by Mario Triola. We're asked to find the area of the shaded region, and we're told that the graph depicts a standard normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So we've got z equals 0 0.15 graphed here, and we're shading the area to the left of that. In order to find that area, I'm going to look it up in my table of z-scores. So let me show you how to do this. Now actually, I'll show you, this is the table, the tear out uh, formulas and tables by Triola that you'll be able to use. There are z-scores right here. Now I'm going to use the PDF version of this because it'll give you a better picture as we're um, trying to learn how to use this. So here's the PDF. If you're taking my class, you'll be able to use this during your exam. Now, Z was equal to 0 0.15, so we need to go to positive Z scores. Now the areas in this table or the entries in this table are always areas to the left. So if we want to find a z-score of 0 0.15, that first digit after the decimal place is listed in this column. So that's zero, z equals 0 0.1. So we're going to be in this row. And then I go over to the column. I want 0 0.15. So I go to that 0 0.05 column, and we see that our entry right there you see it, it's 0 0.15. It's that number right there. Ah. I'm just getting used to trying to annotate these things. Let's see, let's try again. So we want that value right there. Oops, it looks like I grabbed the highlighter. Um, so the area to the left of that, or the area under the curve and to the left of that z equals 0 0.15 is 0 0.5596. Okay, so let's go back to our homework assignment now. And that said 0 0.5596. We would see the same entry in the, the paper-based form of the table here. So you'll use this during the exam. We can look at the PDF when we have all of our resources. And that's it. That's how we find that area. Now note that when you are using that table, I want to show you one more thing before we move on. Oops. <laughs> We've got positive z-scores on one page, negative z-scores on the other, but the entries in the table always give you the area to the left. They never give you the area to the right. They never give you the area between two z-scores. They always give area to the left. So keep that in mind when you're solving problems. And again, the probabilities or the areas are in the body of the table and the z-scores are on the outside. So this is the first digit and that's the second digit of the z-score and the areas or probabilities are in the body of the table.